Hi and welcome or welcome back to the Citizen Channel wherever you've been here before or you've not and of course my preview show so we're going to have a look at the Spurs game the old Spuds at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on the 5th of February 2023 we need a, need a change of luck here don't we guys in this one but we'll talk about that match day 21 of course of the 22-23 Premier League season so let's have a talk about that and we'll have a look at uh, the game my possible lineup, and of course uh, any value on the game as well if you're interested in that side of it so please join me if you are new please push that subscribe button push the bell notifications it'd be great to have you on board please spread the word try and improve the channel I'll try and do as much as I can or everything city past present and forever of course and if you are pushing buttons or if you've already pushed that button push that little like button as well i'm trying to get between 15 and 20 likes for these city vlogs if i can so it's only a small target so you can help me towards that uh make me very very happy I, I won't i won't lie i won't lie to you i never do i never try to lie i might fib occasionally with a tongue in cheek but i never lie to you right okay it's on sky sports this game Overall record at their place, that includes White Hart Lane, of course. I'm not sure where they played before that. Uh, Wembley, uh, the new stadium. We played 73 in the Lissies League games. We played 73, just won 19, which isn't great. Won seven, uh, it's drawn 17 and lost 37. Scored 89 goals and let in 123. So not overly bad on the goals for and against. I think we've had a few big wins over there, certainly over the last few years as well, and certainly at White Hart Lane. Previously... Of course, we played them on match day one last season. Yes, a disappointing start. A bit of a bit of a mixed City team, wasn't it? Not not quite at it, City team, with various problems and coming back from, from the summer break, etc. Of course, we lost 1-0. And it was a yet another defeat at the new home of the Spuds, as we know. We've yet to beat them at this toilet lid shaped stadium as yet we've uh, to register a goal even despite in our last three Premier League games dominating with between 66 and 67 percent of possession and amassing almost 60 shots yes 59 shots in three games and it all pretty much started to go wrong with old Aguero remember him uh, a missed penalty by Aguero on a 1-0 defeat back in the Champions League Quarter final first leg on the 9th of April 2019, and that was our very first visit. Of course, we were due to play them before that, but the ground wasn't quite ready. Since then, we've had a 2 0 loss when Zinchenko was sent off in six, in the 60th minute. Another 2 0 loss, and last season it was 1 0. Uh, so it can be argued we're getting better. So we're drew, due a draw anyway, which might not be good enough, but uh, at least we are improving. And of course, we did beat Spurs in London on the 25th of April 2021. I was there in a the small, reduced COVID based crowd in the Carabao Cup final, of course. But I'm clutching at straws there, aren't I? The fact we, did, we beat them then. Anyway, it's time to get our first win at the ground, so why not this one? Who's in charge? Well, we've got Andy Madley. Yeah, he's ref City six times now. Five City wins and one draw. That was the last time he refed us against Everton. He was horrendous that day. He's shown him seven yellow cards uh, to City players over the six games, so he doesn't like too much to show yellow cards. His assistants and his Lionels are Harry Leonard, Nick Hopton, fourth official Graham Scott, VAR Paul Turney, and making... Mr. Turney's toast toppers for the day. We've got assistant VAR, Mr. Simon Bennett. Right, how are they doing? Well, interesting times for Spurs. Spurs are being very Spursy, aren't they? As, as you'd totally expect. They marched on to the fifth round of the FA Cup with a 3 0 at Preston. But further bad news, it was Son who found some form after having a bit of a mixed season so far. So we've got a couple of goals in this. So just, just in time to play us. Hey, but it was only Preston. Perhaps I'm clutching again there, aren't I? And the last home game, they deservedly beaten by Arsenal. And before this, even Aston Villa had turned them over. Of course, they did lose at our place very recently. We deserved, deserved it, despite not looking quite at it, used mainly for the first half. They currently sit fifth. I've lost three of their last five Premier League games. I was doing this preview for any other team. I would be cock a hoop, but not, perhaps not so much for Tottenham. As ever, even under the more pragma pragmatic Conte, they're still as spursy as ever. And to mention Conte, yes, he's had a, a recent uh, major op, I'd call it. Yeah, he will not be on the touchline, of course, for this game. And this is just another variable to add to the mix. Will it make them better? Will it make them worse? Will they be more attack-minded as opposed to Conte's a little bit more... Uh, Laid back uh, view of defending, etc. Kane set out the Preston game because of illness, but she will be back for this one. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But we do hope, and we live in hope, and we pray, we put our hands together that Larice is between the sticks. We've always, always got a chance if he's in net. 
Conte, he won't be there, but he's still having to prove himself with his team. And though absent in body, his team needs to win this, hopefully. And it's with fingers crossed for this one, looking at the bigger league picture, uh, we do hope to break the stadium hoodoo. We have to. But with Arsenal playing before us, the day, I think they play the day before us uh, against, let's face it, who knows what to expect from Deitch's new Everton. Um it could easily be eight points clear and have a game in hand and a defeat for us and even the happy clappers uh, defeat at Tottenham and even the happy clappers maybe well less clappy I think after that defeat or a draw for the Arsenal a win for us and I'll be happy clapping well well for a few days anyway until we, we have to play Villa and Arsenal very quickly but as always it will depend on us it will depend on City it will depend on Pep and of course with another week between games we don't play Villa till the following week with no midweek game uh, will Pep once again play his preferred 11? What is his preferred 11? With the disruptive, apparently disruptive Cancelo out of the way, OK, we're a body down. This may be the start. This may be start something good for City. You know, we're all, ha- we're all happy clapping in the, in, on the training ground. Bernardo stayed. There's no problem. He's not going to be going at least till the summer. So everyone's happy now. We've knuckled down. The transfer window's over. All the, all the sort of badness is out of the window. Well, if you, if you believe what we've been hearing about Cancelo. So perhaps it's the start of a good run for City. It's a start as we attempt to fight on three fronts and perhaps bring a couple of those fronts back, back home to Manchester. For me, the team that started the Arsenal Cup game is seemingly it for Pep. Uh, Cancelo was on the naughty step anyway, wasn't he? He wasn't playing. Except, of course, we have Edison uh, and Net, despite the shouts emanating again for Ortega because he's had a good game. Uh, this is what tends to happen with uh, City fans and City players. Uh, Stones appears out again, so Laporte is the obvious and Akanji continues to do his job well. Will Lewis now get a rest, though? That's the big that's the big if, isn't it? And Walker returned to play against his old boys. Aki is now, of course, our established left back. Rodri, guaranteed. Gundogan, for me, Max, for this game particularly, I don't want to replace Gundogan. He's, he's there, he's there at least to the summer, as we know. But uh, just for his energy, uh, I would prefer to see Bernardo in there some, uh, rather than Gundogan if it comes to either or. And I think energy against Spurs is very important. But Gundogan was fine in the 4 2 home win, so he won't, I won't be surprised if Pep squeezes him in. KDB, enough said. Will Pep continue with Grealish, Mares, and Haaland? Why not? But when will Alvarez come in? When, when will Alvarez get his go? He's surely got to be given his go. Will this be the game? Possibly not. More likely the next one, Aston Villa, but who knows. Fold and foot injury. Well, he's been on recent training pictures in the gallery on the City site, so he seems to be available. So taking all that into account, I think I'm not going to cover players like Palmer who are not going to get a look in for this. I think taking most things into account with that, this is my 11. I'll just leave it here. I'm not going to make any further comment. This is my 11 for this set Tottenham game. Edison, Walker, Akanji, Laporte, Aki, Rodri, KDB, Bernardo, Grealish, Haaland and Mahrez. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. As I say, uh, there's a few ifs, uh, ifs arrivals. I think, I think I'll get more than five. If I don't get more than five, I'm not going to do any. I will guarantee now on this channel, I will not be doing a predicted 11 for the rest of the season. I might be making comments, but I'm not going to do it. So unless I get more than five, there you go. That is my promise to you. So please keep me to it as well. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and your lineups. Right, before we go on to a quick look at the value, any value on this game as far as the bookies are concerned, if you're not interested in that, please stick with me because it might be a bit of, bit of fun have a look at some of the odds, isn't it? Even if you don't have the fancy having a bet yourself, it's always good to have a look at. All these prices are average. You may get better if you shop around. To win the league now, of course, Arsenal have moved a little bit short, a little bit keener. Uh, 8 to 11 on to win the league. City is 6 to 5 against now. Spurs to get top four, 3 to 1. Mm, not very, a bit mean, a bit mean. Top six, 4 to 7 on. Probably, if you don't mind betting odds on, that's fair enough. Next to lead the job, leave the poor man alone. Conti's now four favourite, because obviously a certain guy went last week. He's now four favourite, eight to one. I mean, come on, guys. The guy's just had a big operation. It'll stick him out a little bit. Stick him out to, to 10 to one or, or 20, 20 to one or something like that. Be nice to him. He's been poorly. Match odds. 
City 7 to 10 on a draw 16 to 5, Spurs 18 to 5. So again, if you don't mind betting odds on and you have faith in City to get our first win at that place, then that's worth a look. First uh, first goal scorer, of course, Haaland's keen favourite, 5 to 2. Aki's 33 to 1. He got on the sheet last time. Why not? He got he got on the sheet against the uh, the North London rivals Arsenal. Thinking first goal scorer, Kane, five to one. Son, seventeen to two. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's got to be value there. Anytime goal scorers, Mares five to two, KDB three to one, Son three to one to be an anytime goal scorer. Well, he's back in the scoring mode, isn't he? Correct scorer, City one nil win his nines, a two nil is seventeen to two, a two one fifteen to two, a three one twelve to one, a four two again. Although it was at home, not at their place, forty to one, and a draw. Yeah, we'll be happy with a draw. Depends how the Arsenal result goes. A draw, nil nil, sixteen to one, one one, fifteen to two, and of course for the Spuds to beat us one nil like they did last season, that's sixteen to one. A two nil win for the Spuds, twenty eight to one, and a two one win, fourteen to one. Half time, full time, a nice cool City victory. City, 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 half time, City, full time, seventeen to ten. A draw. And City to win four to one, a draw and a draw six to one, Spursy and Spursy seven to one, and a draw and Spurs to win nine to one. So lots of value for Spurs fans to enjoy. Half time, if we if we start slow again, which we have a tendency to do, which is unfortunate. Half time, a draw eleven to eight. Spurs seven to two, so they're interesting. Goals over under under two and a half goals, just five to four. Well, they've not been scoring a raft of goals at their place recently, so certainly the last three or four visits that that would have worked. Over two and a half is four to seven on under three and a half. That's interesting. Eight to fifteen. A hat tricks and braces, of course. Hat trick for Haaland is twelve to one, ten to three to get a couple. Who knows? Son. In hat trick, hundred to one. There you are. Son to get a couple and stuff us and get another couple as he did last week. Twenty to one. Both teams to score. Yes, eight to thirteen on. No, twenty nine to twenty. Yeah, this could be a clean sheet, hopefully for us in this. Winning margin, City one goal is 11-4, to four, a two goal is 4-1. to one. Spurs one goal is 11-2, to two, and Spurs two goal is 12-1. to one. Anything else that isn't one of the basic things? Well, the only other thing I looked at was the handicap. Yeah, Spurs plus one. Uh, which is interesting. He gets six to five against. So as I said, if you if you're not betting with your heart, which I tend to do most of the moment, so I sort of ignore it. I don't do it because <laughs> I'm not, not. I haven't got the money to risk. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. A plus one handicap for Spurs is six to five. So there we go. Let me know what you're having to go at. Let me know what you fancy. I'll be back, of course, on Sunday night with the player rating show straight after, as soon as I can get it after after the game. And, of course, the Talking Point show will be out on Monday. We'll look back at the game and, yeah, a little bit of a look forward, but mainly look back at what happened and where it leaves us because, obviously, it's going to be a very interesting weekend uh, depending, I say, Arsenal trip to Everton, City, City away to Spurs. Let, let's see how it stands after that. And if we, we're all happy clappers again. Thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know your comments. It'd be great to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this anyway. I've kept it quite short today considering I got through a lot, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be back very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City! Bye for now. <laughs>